and welcome to Rotted Reviews, and today it's going to be another Rotted Requester video. This time, the request comes to us from patron Ben Grimm, who asked if I could review the 2020 movie, The Special. Now, when I asked him why this movie in particular, he answered, I just really want to know if people thought it was as disgusting as I think it was. I find something like this, sex and body horror, more disgusting than gore flakes like Headless. Which, fair enough, fair point, and based on that, I did watch it. And before I get into my thoughts on that, what I really want to do right now is actually just take a special little moment here and thank all my patrons for their support. You guys mean the world to me. If you would like to support this channel, the best way you can do that is by clicking subscribe and telling your friends. But if you want to go above and beyond, you can sign up for my Patreon. We have many tiers, including watch parties and so on and so forth. And if you want to go even further beyond that, I just want to remind everybody that I do have a merch store. And I really don't like saying that that often because every time I say the word merch my soul dies a little but we do have things like this sweet event horizon t-shirt that I have designed myself as well as mugs all sorts of stuff we have everything you can hope to find except for apparently dignity so moving on to the review itself this movie was directed by B Harrison Smith and written by James Newman and Mark Steensland and in it we find the character of Jerry Jerry is a fellow that's a bit down in the dumps. He is suspecting his wife of cheating on him, and he is at the bar being consoled by his best friend, Mike. And Mike's a real champ out there. He's trying to pick his buddy up, and he knows just the best way to do it. Take him to a brothel? Mike assures him that everything's okay and everything's above board, and they go to the brothel, and they get to meet the madam as well as the girls, and Mike keeps telling him, no, sir, no, you do not want any of this. You want the special. So, the special is what they agree upon, and Jerry is taken upstairs into an empty room where the door is closed, and he finds himself alone with a box with a hole in it. As it turns out, this box is something, well, special, and Jerry becomes a bit addicted to it, and the rest of the movie is him spiraling out of control, both psychologically and physically. All right, so getting to the meat of this, uh, Ben, did I find this as disgusting as you did? I would have to say no. That's not to say that it wasn't disgusting, because it was. This actually had some really decent body horror elements to it. As Jerry is spiraling, there's all sorts of oddness and practical effects that kind of take over from there. And they were done fairly well. They were goopy, they were gross. However, I think the word disgusting and so on, it really is just kind of what tickles that pressure point for you in particular. It's not just what appears on screen, it's a visceral kind of uh, connection that it has with you. Some people, you know, the Achilles heel cut, some people fingernails popping off when they're trying to claw their way out. Everybody has their thing. And just hearing Ben talk about this, honestly, since this movie first came out, I would have to say that though I did find it disgusting, it did not hit the same pressure point for me that it clearly did for you, but that's okay. <laughs> this is just one of those things. But as far as whether or not I actually enjoyed this movie, I would have to say more than I thought that I would. To be perfectly honest, this is not my kind of thing, just hearing the overall description of it, uh, but it was much better than I anticipated. It was more adept. The filming style, the special effects, the acting, and so forth were not at all bad. And I think I was kind of bracing myself for a little bit of bad. But the thing I enjoyed about this movie more than anything else was really not knowing what was going to happen next. See, men watching this film will wonder, is this a comeuppance tale in which the climax of the film will explode all around this nut, or will fate release him, allowing Jerry to knock out a happy ending? Ejac <laughs> However, despite all the adept filmmaking, the special effects, and the surprises that this movie has, I would have to say that it is about as sophomoric and juvenile as you might fear, so it is not to everybody's tastes. I actually do want to take a little bit of a moment here and make a special point of highlighting a character of Detective Barnes, played by Paul Cotman. You see, as Jerry is spiraling down this rabbit hole here, he is uh, being tailed, being followed up by this police detective. And this is not anything terribly new in these kind of movies. It's a way to kind of 
keep stakes alive and keep a sense of urgency going. And as far as stakes go, it provides a more grounded, relatable sense of consequences on the heels of this main character where the natural consequences of his actions still kind of remain nebulous. So it's just one of those things that's more of a device, of a writing vehicle more than anything else. For a one-dimensional character whose entire purpose is to be the fire licking at the heels of Jerry, I thought that the way that the dialogue was written, as well as the way that Paul Cotman delivered it, had a sense of caring and interest that was remarkable to me. It was one of those things that stood out and I was kind of in disbelief at how well this character was coming across as somebody of real interest. So would I recommend the special to all horror movie lovers out there? Um, <laughs> no. However, way more than I thought that I would because if you're in, into something kind of more cerebral with some uh, slow pacing and some uh, you know social context to it, Probably not the one for you, but if you are in for uh, wanting a gross time and just laughing at some absurd situations uh, in a style that's actually done remarkably well, I would have to say, yes, this is the movie for you. You should rent it, kick it on, where, wherever platform you can find it on. I do recommend this. I was honestly expecting a little bit less of a well-polished film and a little bit more of honestly just kind of a low budget cringe fest and i'm delighted that i got the former so i think that should about do it i really thank you for joining me here today on this video and a big special thank you to ben Grimm for recommending the 2020 movie the special <laughs> thank you again have a great day and remember next time you want to watch a horror movie first make sure that it's good and rotted